In this video, we'll look at how to install Teleport on Linux, and in this case, an Ubuntu desktop. And more specifically, we'll be looking at installing the TSH and Teleport Connect user clients. If you want to follow along, you can go to goteleport.com slash docs slash installation. First, let's scroll down to operating system support. So we see here that Linux, in these flavors, is compatible with all Teleport tools. From the Teleport service itself, the Tcuttle admin tool, the TSH and Teleport Connect user clients, and Tbot, which is a CLI tool used with machine ID that programmatically issues and renews short-lived certificates to any service account. And again, in this video, we're gonna focus specifically on installing TSH and Teleport Connect. So to install this on Linux, we need to scroll down to that section. So here's the Linux section, and we see that all installations include all of the binaries we just mentioned. And to install this, we just need to go down to the installation instructions, choose Air Teleport Edition. I'm gonna choose open source and our Linux flavor. So I'm using Ubuntu, so this works for me. But if you're using Amazon Linux or you just need the tarball, there are those options as well. So with these commands, we just download the Teleport PGP public key, add the repository, update and install Teleport. So I'm gonna select all of this, head to my Ubuntu desktop and paste it in. And once that's complete, you should be able to test this new installation by typing TSH. Now TSH is a CLI client that allows end users to authenticate to Teleport, access the resources in a Teleport cluster, and perform a handful of operations like file transfers, access requests, MFA management, etc. So if you look at some of the features here, with the TSH command, you can SSH, you can manage databases, you can manage apps, and access requests, and Kubernetes clusters, multi-factor authentication management, and more. So let's try it out. One of the first things you should do is log into your Teleport cluster. So I have a Teleport cluster running here on the public web, and with TSH, I can log into it from anywhere. And to do that, you just type TSH login, then you include the proxy, which I'll get from the URL here. And then for auth, I'm gonna use my GitHub SSO integration. So I just type GitHub here and hit enter to log in. Login successful. So I've successfully logged into the cluster. I'm logged in as this user. I have these roles and my certificate is valid for 12 hours, which is the default and is configurable. And now that we're logged into our Teleport cluster, what else can we do? Well, let's list out the Kubernetes clusters that Teleport is managing. And we can do that with TSH cube LS. And we see here we have three Kubernetes clusters. To log into one of these, we can type TSH cube login, and let's choose the Minikube cluster, the Minikube dev cluster and I'm logged in. And from here, I can run my kubectl commands as usual. So let's get pods, and I can list the pods in my Minikube dev Kubernetes cluster. What about servers? Let's list out the servers with TSH. And we can do that with TSH ls, and we have two servers being managed. To SSH into this server, we can type TSH SSH, and then the user, which is gonna be Ubuntu, at, and then I'm gonna grab the node name of this server. Paste that in and hit enter to initiate an SSH session. So from here, I can run some commands, ls, pwd, and then I can exit out of that SSH session. And that's TSH, and obviously there's a lot more you can do with it, but let's shift now and take a look at Teleport Connect. So if we go back to our installations page, under the operating system support section, you'll see this note here about using Teleport Connect. So you can click on that, or you can go up here to connect your client and click on using Teleport Connect. Now Teleport Connect, like TSH, allows you to access your Teleport cluster remotely, but it does so in the way of a desktop app. So Teleport Connect is a graphical user interface on your own desktop that provides easy and secure access to your Teleport cluster. So let's look at how to download that on our Linux machine and how that works. So on this page, let's go down to Installation and Upgrade, click on Downloads. 
Now to download Teleport Connect, you can scroll down to the bottom and find the operating system that you're using and install it that way. But the easier way to do it is just to scroll up and use this one liner. So earlier when we installed Teleport on the Linux machine, we could have just used this curl command here. We chose to do it more manually, which is fine. But for Teleport Connect, let's use this. So change this to Teleport Connect and copy that command. Go back to your Linux machine and paste it in. And hit return to install it. And once that's done, we get a note here to run Teleport Connect to start using Teleport Connect. So let's type that in, and that will launch Air Program. All right, and here's our app. Let me make it a little bigger. And this is Teleport Connect. So the first thing we can do is to connect a cluster. So click Connect. And again, I'm going to grab my Teleport URL. Paste that in, and click Next. And then I can log in. So again, I'm going to use my GitHub SSO to log in. And we're logged in. And from here, I can see all of my servers. So I have the two servers. I think I have a database being managed and my Kubernetes clusters. To log into a cluster, I just click Connect. And I can run my commands. And to SSH into a server, I can click on Servers and Connect. Choose my user, Ubuntu and I can run my SSH session here. It's a very convenient way to access your Teleport cluster from any computer. Now, the other thing to note is that we have a profile selector here at the top right, which allows you to switch between profiles on different Teleport clusters, as well as log in or out of the clusters. And on the left, we have the connection list, which shows recent connections, allowing you to seamlessly switch between them. So we just ran these two commands. All I have to do is click on one to run that command again. And then here in the middle, we have a search bar that allows us to search for resources across clusters. And finally, if you click on these three dots, you can open up a config file where you can configure Teleport Connect and customize it to your liking. So for example, I can increase the terminal font size to 18. And also in the same menu, you can create new access requests or you can view current ones. So in conclusion, TSH and Teleport Connect are two user clients that you can easily install to interact with your Teleport cluster. Thanks for watching.